over from Rebo. That is a respect band done there by the Vietnamese team. And now on the last band, uh, Lunox should be an okay thing to bat out. Also, Selena. Oh, yeah, I was about to say that. Yes, yeah, Selena has been banned out by Brand New Sports. And the plot thickens. The plot definitely thickens and it's going to get hotter, hotter, hotter heat as we're going to be seeing this final game. This is everything is on the line here for both these teams. For Overclockers, it is maintaining their dominance, maintaining their top of the spot. They have had a very good run throughout the entire series for Brand Esports. It's all about the culmination of the struggle that they had to go through from the bottom of the bracket. They clawed their way up from draws to losses. They clawed their way up and this is exactly what they need. Now look at this. You picking out the Franco for Hayes and Hayes picking out the Minotaur that is most likely going to go towards EJ. I think this is going to be very, very good. But what is Rebo going to take as mm -hmm. uh, as, as a, a carry, carry yes. as, as a marksman here? Mm, uh, I'm not sure if he really Thomas? wants to go for the marksman or will he go for a fighter like Aldo's or maybe Martis for God's sake. I think Martis would be a good idea but I think Mm. That uh, there are other better uh, better heroes that are able to basically fight this out. I do like the fact that Martis could be an option, and because that there is a lot of CC on this team, he could actually layer his CC on top of everything else as well. Mm -hmm. So I I I I really don't know how to uh, I really don't know how to explain this because. Rebo right now is just sitting on the decision. I do think it's going to be a Granger for some reason. Because uh, Cloud has already been picked up for the side I'll of Woods. Oh, oh, something different here from Brand is, but there's gotta be a Hellcat. All right, both teams look so strong here. I have maximum respect from both Overclockers and Brand Esports here coming into the Grand Finals, especially in this last game, best of three. I think we're gonna start here. The last game for the Tennis Summit. It's gonna be Overclockers versus Brand Esports. Game number three. Winner takes all. And 50,000 ringgit is in line here as a prize pool for the Challenger Summer. Uh, sorry, Challenger Summit 2019. And uh, Brand Esports really need to play a very aggressive start here. But it looks like Overclockers is the one being slightly aggressive on the top side of the map. I do like what is happening here. Brand Esports as well as Overclockers are doing really well. Oh, oh Maganda! Hey! Who cares? Maganda! Now EJ will come in. will try to defend the buff away. Delaying the leveling of Bad Apple and Kuzo. Oh, but they still manage to get the buff. Coco. Here comes Overclockers. They want to wipe out Brand as early as they can. Bad Apple positioned a little bit quite wide. But there's oh, a Taku! Another hook there by Hayes. Maganda hook. First black goes to Brand Esports. Kuzo has to run away. And Overclockers. Overclockers is dispersing. Coco jumping into Bad Apple. Bad Apple being a Thomas can simply jump out of the Hayes, way. Hayes and might actually try to go for a pull here. Uh, I'm not so sure the range is too far, but Brand Esports opens up our game with that tremendous first blood. That was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful play there coming in from the side of Brand Esports. Nicely getting that first blood. And it seems that the advantage is in favor for the side of uh, Brand if they're able to ride this. Um, advantage out they have to make sure that they don't get caught making stupid mistakes or making silly mistakes against overclockers All do right. not over commit yeah overclockers on the same side has to actually try not to be uh, uh, um, uh, chaotic in terms of trying to engage uh, Maybe they have to be more coordinated in order to handle brand esports which is as again is said to be playing uh, aggressive here in the early and maybe possibly mid games as well. Now we're going to be seeing Taku as well as Kulzo now mm -hmm. moving into some very good positions here. Uh, I do believe that there is going to be a bit of a fight over at the Turtle Pit and I think uh, that was coming in from Overclockers so I think that they are signaling that they have an idea that OCS might try to go for the Turtle. So we do see Brand Esports actually moving into a location whereby they get as much information as they can mm -hmm. over onto OCS. All right, guys. Uh, now everybody is slowly coming down, but uh, Brandon Spot is eyeing over that turtle. Not a single overclocker trying to attempt to defend this over from Brandon Spot. That is a very clean turtle pickup here done by the Filipino team. This is going to be a very good game here coming in from the, these teams. I do like the fact that uh, 
they have the ability to basically fight out these early games, but they have to be really careful with mm. how they want to make it. Uh oh, oh OCS Meow. Meow, Meow gets pulled words. in. This is bad here. There goes another kill going over towards the side of Brent. Brent oh, now no, going to go on stick, but Hayes gets taken down. Even though it was a one-for-one -one exchange, it's still Brent that has the advantage. Oh my god, I was thinking that maybe the Gardens Barrier was a mistake, but Taku covers it up by taking the kill uh, on towards there. The Franco with two on one on the scoreboard. The game is now more intense. You can see that Tamos is engaging towards the Hacker Hellcat in the minimap, but the Minotaur jumps in. The, minita, the Mita was full, but the Minion Fury was not asserted. And uh, we overclock us, Brandon. But will we see another close game here? Bottom lane, Leomot is engaged by Meow Hayes, waiting for that pull. Puns has to be careful in order to try to get this. A hermit crab as well as said by a lot of our viewers hazel spool is gonna be a patai kalaban pool all right so we're gonna be seeing now whether or not uh because we do see that poons is uh, starting to scale up in terms mm -hmm. of attack damage in terms of attack speed this is not something that brand esports wants now ug already has two kills hayes already has two assists uh, Hayes needs to move around as much as he can and give as much kills towards Coco. Top side though. Oh, I'm sorry, top side. Now mine is okay. Uh, top side could be a big issue here as they're going to be taking the first. Uh, they might be trying to take the first turret, getting a little bit of pressure onto top side. Uh, I thought they were actually brawling there. But Rebo now is in trouble. Four men from Overclockers gets that kill. But Franco chasing it off by taking that suppression on towards the Lunox. Then that is one on one trade done by both teams. Now, Meow tries to engage towards Hayes. Yes, he has been slowed down by the passive auto attack by the Kufra, uh, but he will be fine. So, both teams will have their respective turrets go down. And a turtle cools up, uh, slap, slapping the dead turtle a little bit with his uh, rock. I mean, now not a rock, like it's a, a, it's a club. It's, yeah, it's, it's no, it's a freaking gas can. Oh yeah, it's a, oh yeah, it's a gas can, yeah, because yeah. of his skin. But anyway, but yeah. He is, oh my god, he another is. hook there. Zaman Force has been opened up by the Harley. Goes oh on trying to do something. Nicely maneuvering done. there. But Franco goes up and then gets it. He done. think very nicely there. Now overclockers. Isa Isa dropping dead. But Kulzo manages to actually uh be under the uh, the mercy of his own tower. Brandon Spall did not go for the tower that have engaged. And again, a nice display of engagement done here by Brand Esports. Apple 1v1 with Rebo, but Apple does not look off to want to fight that Leomot just yet. All right, now looking into the tower, uh, looking into the turtle pit now, we're going to be seeing the first turtle being taken for the side of Brent Esports here. This is going to help them, but oh, oh, luckily enough, they were able oh, to nice. take it. Nicely done there. Nice, um... What's the word for it? Uh, nice little secure for the side of Brent Esports. This is going to have them help them with 2,000 goal advantage here. With Overclockers moving in towards the top side, we do see that the shift in focus might be in the agenda for the side of Overclockers. Brent Esports still playing it very well. Six minutes into the game. Oh, almost getting that hook. Bad Apple. Uh, engaged Rebo, uh, uh, I mean, for a while just now. Pause has been called here by the Helka. Let's get back into the game. Alright, back into game. It's still early in well, I mean still in the early stages of the game. Uh, both teams are in, still in the process of farming up. But speaking of farming, goal advantage is on the side of Brand Esports at right around 1,000 goal. Yuji and Hayes, Taku is right in front of him. But Hayes is smart enough not engaging that Lunox just yet. Because Lunox has brilliance to actually flee away. Okay, now we're going to be seeing Hayes right now trying to uh, get a little bit of information onto Overclockers. We still see that there is going to be a little bit bottom of lane. goal. A little bit. Oh, wait, oh. but bottom lane now. Oh, it's going to be bad. Oh, oh, Brain. Almost getting that oh. kill. Gets the kill. Over the tower shot now, Poons has to run away from EJ. And that is a smart play by Coco. Again, uh -oh. engaged by Overclockers, counter play by Bren. I think it's a really good, good, good way Bren is playing right now. They're playing very disciplined, they're not rushing. And the fact that Coco, Yuji, as well as Hayes right now with very good KDA is just exactly what they need. EJ as well has been able to stay very much alive with mm -hmm. two assists. He will be uh -uh. pretty tanky. Uh-oh, Hayes. Uh -oh. Oh, almost getting almost puns. Getting puns. Almost getting puns. Yeah, it was just really, really sad there coming in. Yeah, I think if he got puns right there, the mid-fight would have been a little bit crazy as overclockers will have to back away because they don't have that dps ej charging up the fury cool so is uh -oh. that to, uh, to be in the bad battle position of but meow 
Will he jump in? No, I don't think so. Hook misses ag again by hit. Sorry for the hiccup. And now, we brand in spots. They are planned foil at bottom lane. They are rotating back, focusing on mid lane. Kufra is very near towards uh, the, the, what you call it, uh, Minotaur on the bottom side of the map. But, uh, well, doing Meow, he knows how to disengage uh, over a situation where it will be dire to him. Falling back. Rotation for Overclockers this time to the, the, uh, towards the top lane. Rebo now is in trouble. This is going to be a three-man dive by Team Overclockers. Oh, Dinosaur, there it down. goes but Rebo. Rebo. Yeah, Rebo still goes down in the end by the three-man gang by Overclockers. All right, Rebo was not in a very Matalino position right there. Oh, nice try coming in from Hayes to try to get Poons, at, uh, Poons down. But oh my god, look oh, at the amount of damage coming mm. in from Poons. Oh, I mean, I mean, uh, he was literally not in the right position to uh, uh, get the last on towards the minion. Now, bouncy ball, EJ uh -oh. is, is trapped. He has the fury maxed out. Minion's fury is still intact. He heals up just a little bit. Yuji trying, about, trying his best to actually clear off mid lane. Taku Miao and also Poons is waiting desperately for any member of Brand Esport of Brand's eSport to actually do that face check. Alright, so we're going to be seeing here how is uh, Coco going to be moving over to the top, over to the mid side here. He will be able to get some of these neutral mm -hmm. buffs, uh, uh, neutral creeps, excuse me, and he wants to be moving with Haze. We do see Culzo now in a little bit of trouble here as EJ oh, nice nicely up. done coming in from the side of Meow, but will it be enough? Yuji, uh oh. oh nice, nice Haze is going to go down. No, go he's not. Oh my that goodness, Haze is Haze. still alive. Haze is still alive, being barred here by the Guardian's Barrier. That is a one man did over the side of Overclockers. Claw came in back. Meow jumps in. Yuji has the clear side but does not want to go for the engage. Coco on the side will be saved here by the turret and also the other members of Brand Esports. Hayes now looking for the right place to hook. Yes, oh! oh! Kufa, that is the Kalaban who went there. We, 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 we be waiting for. Kufa goes down. EJ is still alive. Yuji goes in. for the Kalato schools up. One monkey goes to the Filipino team. Puts in the middle of it. Hayes tries to take it up but look at that Rebo coming in with the fantasy wants to go for the kill oh, it's going to go down soon as the Harith gets that sweet sweet kill over the Mark 1 of, 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 of Overclockers at the same time that that is a Tabus break of overclockers at the same time that is a Tabus breakdown done by the Ray team and now Wow, the kings of Brand Esports. May you have the Lord for your taking. Now, let me just say this. 4 for nothing exchange. This is going to open up the Lord. This will help Brand Esports get closer to that 10,000 ringgit grand final prize. Uh, uh, did you know that 10,000 ringgit is worth 125,000 pesos? Oh, in Philippine money? Yeah, boy. If they oh, win, if they if win. If they win, yeah. So, that's a lot of money right there. Oh, that's true. Alright, so let us go check this out. Brand Esports right now moving in a very, very interesting way. As we're going to see Overclockers right now. Overclockers right now. They are moving a little bit more disciplined right now. They do not want to be caught. But sometimes when you stay too close, oh. that makes it easier as a target for Hayes to actually catch. Hayes has made uh, close to five to six very, very good place and it has shown it's a matalino fella all right maybe guapo uh, in, uh, as well so uh, his pulls are actually beneficial and most of the time is on point and on cue at the right moment it's not just about the accuracy as well it's also about the timing he also layers the pull with the suppress or even with the cc that comes in with other members of uh, mm. uh, with other members of his team so i think that coming in from the side of ocs they need to be really wary of it which i think they're doing a really good job let's get back into the game all right back into game is still early in I've been mean, still in the early stages of the game. Uh, both teams are still in the process of farming up. But speaking of farming, goal advantage is on the side of Brand Esports at right around 1,000 goal. Yuji and Hayes, Taku is right in front of him. But Hayes is smart enough not engaging that Lunox just yet because Lunox has brilliance to actually flee away. Okay, now we're going to be seeing Hayes right now trying to uh, get a little bit of information onto Overclockers. We still see that there is going to be a little bit bottom of lane. goal. A little bit. Oh, wait. Oh. But bottom lane now. Oh, it's going to be bad. Oh, oh, brain. Almost getting that oh. kill. Gets that kill. Over the tower shot. Now, Poons has to run away from EJ. And that is a smart play by Coco. Again, uh -oh. engaged by Overclockers. Counterplay by Bren. 
I think it's a really good, good, good way Brand is playing right now. They're playing very disciplined, they're not rushing. And the fact that Coco, Yuji, as well as Hayes right now with very good KDA is just exactly what they need. EJ as well has been able to stay very much alive with mm. two assists. He will be uh -uh. pretty tanky. Uh-oh, Hayes. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, almost getting almost puns. Almost getting puns. Almost getting puns. Yeah, it was just really, really sad there coming in. Yeah, I think if he got puns right there, the mid-fight would have been a little bit crazy as overclockers will have to back away because they mm. don't have that dps ej charging up the fury cool so is uh -oh. that to, uh, to be in the bad position of Brandis, but, but meow will he jump in no i don't think so hook misses ag again by hit sorry for the hiccup and now with brand spots they are planned foil at bottom lane they are rotating back focusing on mid lane Kufra is very near towards uh, the the what you call it uh, minotaur on the bottom side of the map but uh well, doing Meow, he knows how to disengage uh, over 